create a line plot to show measurement data. In this lesson, you will learn how to show measurement data by making a line plot. Let's review. When collecting data, like we have for this table, we use items to measure our objects. In this case, students used a ruler to find the length of these objects. Does the measurement data need to be shown in a table like this one? No, we do not have to use a table, but it sure does help to keep our data organized and as a way to show our data. This table is clear and easy to read. I see a pencil measured at 3 inches, a marker 5 inches, a crayon 19 centimeters, and a paper clip 5 centimeters. Well, uh-oh, I may have done something I shouldn't have. Sometimes students will put all measurement data onto one line plot. In this table, we have inches and we have centimeters. Since these are different units of measurement, we need to show them on different line plots. When we collect measurement data, we can write down our measurements in a table while we are collecting it to keep it organized. Then we can plot it on a line plot. Using the data from this table, let's create a line plot to show the measurements. Start by creating a number line. Starting with the lowest data point 3, we will label our horizontal axis with the number 3. See, this is the axis here. Our largest number is 5, so we know that our horizontal axis needs to extend from the number 3 to the number 5. Let's go ahead and label our whole numbers on the number line from 3 to 5. Notice that we still have a crayon and paper clip measurements, but the pencil and marker were measured using standard measurement inches. The crayon and paper clip were measured using the metric unit centimeters. Because these objects were measured using different units, we must show that data on a different line plot. Now, using the data from this table, we can create a line plot to show the measurements. Remember that we are only plotting the centimeters from this table. We must show different units of measurement on different line plots. So we create a number line. Starting with the lowest data point 5, we will label our horizontal axis with that number. I notice that the largest measurement is 19. So I know that the number line needs to extend from 5 to 19. Since our horizontal axis is labeled correctly, we are ready to plot our data. We have a crayon which is 19 centimeters, so we locate 19 centimeters on our line plot and mark an X on the spot. Next, we have a paper clip that is 5 centimeters. We can locate 5 on our line plot and mark an X on the spot to show one crayon, one paper clip. Since we do not have any more data we can take from the table and add to our line plot, we're finished. On this number line, there are several measurements not plotted on our line, line plot. That's okay. If we had more data in our table, we would have more measurements to plot. In this lesson, you have learned how to show measurement data by making a line plot.